Okay, let's look at the last question of this paper and the last video for this playlist. It says the two pie charts, A and B below, represent the income and expenditure of all South African tertiary institutions. A tertiary institution is just a university. So here's the income, and here they've kept it in sort of billion amounts, right? Because it says in billion. So this here is the total of 63 billion. Over here, they've given us the total in billions in the middle, but they've written everything as a percentage. So slightly different representations, and don't get confused, right? Remember, in a pie chart, you can represent in terms of percentages or in terms of absolute numbers. You can do either. This is a form of pie chart. So it says, give one example of an other type of expenditure applicable to tertiary institutions. Okay, so it says expenditure, so we're over here, okay, and we're looking at other. Okay, this is one of those thinking level four questions. You can't gather this information from what's given. Think about it. What other um, expenses, other than goods and services, salaries and interest, do you think they would have to pay? You could think about advertising, copyright payments, bursaries, grants. There's lots of different things that universities pay for that are not um, in there. I'm just going to, or not included in the other sections. I'm just going to say advertising because to me that's quite an obvious one right because we see advertising for uh, universities all over the place right so I'm just going to say advertising it said only one so we don't have to keep on uh, on giving lots of examples right just give one then it says what percentage of income comes from donations okay now this is important they haven't told us the amount of donations and then they haven't represented these in terms of percentages so there's a bit of work we have to do here how do we get the amount of donations? Well, we know the total income is 63, and it's split into all of these. So we can say 63 minus tuition fees, minus state subsidies, minus other resources, and that leaves us with donations. Then we say whatever donations is over my total income times by 100, and that gives me my percentage. Let me show you how to do that. Okay, so I'm going to say 63 billion minus the tuition fees minus the state subsidies, minus the other sources, okay? So I've said 63 minus those two three, and that is going to be my donations, right? A lot of these institutions do get fair amounts of donations, right? We're not sure what it's going to be, but that's just uh, something to think about. So they're going to get 11.11 .11 billion rand. Now, what's important here? You can't just write 11.11. .11. You have to write billion and you have to write rand. So make sure that you include your units. I know I haven't um, spoken about that too much in the past couple of videos, but please don't forget that. But it didn't just ask for the amount that was donations. It said the percentage. So now we have to say 11.11 .11 over 63 times by 100 because that's the percentage. So I'm going to say 11 point, oh, goodness. Um, put whatever your answer was there. Right, over 63 times 100, and it is going to be 17.63%. Okay, generally over here, you round to two decimal places, okay? But um, it depends on, on your sort of preference. Generally, it's two, okay? I wouldn't put more than three, okay? But um, just make sure that you're rounding off and not writing decimals forever, and then also obviously remember your percentage sign. 5.2.3. Okay, we're doing well here, guys. Almost done. Calculate the amount in rands of interest paid by tertiary institutions. Now, interest is 0.7%, right, of my total expenditure. So I'm going to say 0 0.7 times 54.1 billion, because that's what it is. Let's plug that into our calculator. Times 54.1. So what is it? It's going to be 0 0.3787 billion rand. Now you could be saying, but Margie, why are you not rounding off there? Now, please be careful because this is in billions, right? If I round it off, it actually makes quite a big difference. Okay, because if I round this off and I make this 379, you're saying I'm paying a lot more interest than I actually am. So whenever you're writing like billion or million, right, as your unit, I would be inclined not to round off just because you can actually then represent something in a way that isn't true. Okay, with percentages, 
we always round off to two decimal places. With currency, always two different decimal places. And you could be saying, oh, but this is a currency. But this is not a currency in, this, in the sense of like 25 rand 17 cents. That's how currency. Do you see here, we're not writing billion. As soon as you add something afterwards, I would be inclined not to round it off. Okay, just as a point of uh, approach there. Last question of this paper, yay. Determine the difference, okay, in millions of rands between the income and the expenditure of the tertiary institution. Now, this is important. It said in millions. Currently, it's in billions. So you can't um, just be writing your answer in terms of billions and expect to get all your answers, get all your um, marks there. So be careful. So we know that it's 63 billion minus 54.1 billion. Okay. We know that's the case. So we just put that in. Oh, sorry. Make sure you type that in correctly. So it is 8.9 billion. But they did not ask us to write it in terms of billion. How many millions are there in a billion? There are a thousand millions in a billion. So I'm going to times this by a thousand to get it into million. And it becomes 8,900 8, million. So just be careful. Remember there are a thousand thousands, a thousand thousands in a million, right? And then there are a thousand millions in a billion. Okay, so just remember those conversions because those are expected um, as sort of known, uh, to be known by you and by the examiners. Right, we're done with this paper. Good luck for tomorrow, guys.